In this video, we'll show you how to work with the sensors on your FinchBot with Scratch programming. Once again, we return to the More Blocks category. First, we have the Finch Temperature block that will report the temperature of the room the bot is in, in Celsius. You will also notice that in Scratch, there are small check boxes next to several of your Finch blocks. When selected, the value of the sensor will be displayed in the staging area here. Moving on to the obstacle blocks, these determine if there is anything in front of the bot on the right and left sides. These are Boolean or predicate blocks. They are true if there is an object 1 to 4 inches from the sensor. If there is no object, the block will return false. Next we have the light sensors. These detect the amount of light the right and left sides are being exposed to. Since the room I'm in is relatively dim, the number stays at 15 to 19. The sensor ranges anywhere from 0 at total darkness and 100 at full brightness. Keep in mind that you can also use your checkbox here to see the values in the staging area. The Finch acceleration blocks measure the g-forces on the different axes on the bot. Values range from negative 1.5 to 1.5 g's. The Finch's x-axis measures from beak to tail. The y-axis measures from wheel to wheel. And the z-axis measures from the top of the bot to the bottom. The Finch orientation block refers to the current position of the Finch bot. By clicking on it, the block will give the position. Possible responses are level, upside down, beak up or down, left or right wing down, and in between. And now you know the sensing blocks for the FinchBot and Scratch programming. Next, we'll show you how to combine the sensing and output blocks to create a program. For more info, check out our other tutorials on YouTube. 